In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the carburetor float on a Honda HRX 217 lawnmower. We'll get started by removing the air cleaner cover. This gives us access to the air filter. And now the air filter simply pulls away from the air filter base. Now we'll remove the air filter base. The base is secured with two bolts. Next, we'll remove the fuel line from the carburetor. I'll start by clamping off the fuel line and then using a pair of pliers to release the fuel line clamp. Then I like to use a screwdriver to pry the fuel line away from the carburetor. And now I can remove the carburetor from the throttle linkage. And I'll remove the throttle spring. I've already removed the carburetor from my lawnmower, so I can go ahead and start by removing the carburetor bowl. The bowl's held in place with this nut. You also want to have a container nearby to catch the gas that's in the carburetor bowl. With the bowl out of the way, now we have access to the float and the float valve. To remove these, I pull the hinge pin away from the carburetor. And now I can pull the float and the float valve out as an assembly. Now we can go ahead and reassemble the float and the float valve. The float valve fits into the pocket on the float. Then I just thread the float valve into the opening on the carburetor and re-secure the float with the hinge pin. Now I can replace the carburetor bowl and the bowl screw. And I'll tighten it up. Now we can go ahead and replace the carburetor. I'll get started by reattaching the fuel line to the carburetor. and then I'll re-secure the fuel line clamp. Now I can reinstall the throttle linkage to the carburetor. And the throttle linkage spring. Now I can go ahead and reinstall the air filter base. I'll start by replacing the gaskets over the bolts on the air filter base. Now I'll thread the bolts through the governor plate and install the next gasket. Now I'll thread the bolts through the holes on the carburetor
and now install the isolator gasket against the carburetor. Now I can install the isolator block with the attached choke controls. And finally, the last gasket between the isolator block and the engine block. Now I just thread the bolts back into the engine block. And now I'll just replace the air filter back into the air filter base and reattach the air filter cover.